project is my ugly old bar stools. They've been an eyesore for a few weeks and I haven't gotten to them. It's a rainy day so I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to get some of my own projects done. Today's project I'm going to be using my Zebra paintbrush and I'm also going to be using Fairy Chalk Mother single step paint. The color that I'm using in is industrial. It's a nice soft gray and I think it's going to look really good with our white smeary wax. So to get started, I cleaned my bark stool really good. I got all the gummy snacks and gunk off the bottom and underneath and I'm just going to get started painting. It's really important to make sure your pieces are clean because if you paint over gunk, A, it won't stick and B, it'll seep through the paint and you'll get staining through your paint and you never want that. I'm just going to do nice even strokes and get all the details done. one coat of industrial on there and now I decided to add something fun I'm gonna stencil on the back of them I have three total so I'm gonna do number one number two and number three to secure my stencil I just use blue painters tape all around the edge and I'm just using this little tiny paintbrush to paint this the color that I'm using is Je Mint by Fairy Chalk Mother you want to get a decent amount of paint on your brush and then you're just gonna brush it Try not to get anywhere it doesn't go. I'm sure that there's probably a much fancier way to do this, but this is the way I stencil. If you had a foam brush, you could use that too. Okay, once you get it all painted in, you're going to want to take it off before the paint dries so that way you don't get any lines. The stenciling is all done on our chairs. We have number one, number two, and number three. My next step is going to be to distress them. I'm going to use an 80 grit sanding block and I'm going to go over just the edges and across the top to smooth it out and distress it. My kids are pretty rough on furniture so I like the distress look because then if they mess it up it looks intentional. The next step is going to be to add smeary wax. I carry smeary wax on my website jamierayvintage.com. It chemically bonds with any of our paint to make colored wax. Today I want to do a white wax so I have fairy chalk mother and snowflake which I also sell on my website and I have my smeary wax. I'm going to take a little bit of the smeary wax and put it in a bowl and I'm going to add the paint. It's about a three to one ratio of wax to paint and you're going to mix it all together. It doesn't take very much. I don't like mixing up my whole container of smeary wax because I, get, I can use multiple colors with it so I keep it separate and I mix up just what I need. Now that I have my smeary wax all mixed up I'm going to use my wax brush that I also sell on my website and I'm going to liberally apply this to the detail or anywhere I want to add the white wax to. Get it all nice down into the cracks. I'm 
gonna take my paper towel and wipe it off. I'm gonna do this to the whole chair until I get the look that I want. You can see that it goes down into the cracks and adds a white detail. It's gonna chemically bond to the paint that's already on here and when we're all finished, we'll seal it with a polyurethane for durability. Our bar stools are all finished. They've been painted, distressed, white wax, stenciled, and we seal them with a matte polyurethane. If you wanna know how to seal your furniture with matte poly, be sure to check out our video, Paint Spraying 101 Part Two. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.